couples forum we bless the holy name of god the god we are serving is a mighty god and this is going to begin to work his wonders and miracles in every life and destiny in the name of jesus my name is chris pastor chris of body of christ center and i help my wife pastor from care god bless you you are blessed and highly favored this is the day that our Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. God bless you. Welcome to Corpus Forum. We know the mighty God, eternal God, will touch your life. You join in today's number accident. It is by divine appointment. And we know you will not leave this broadcast the way you are joining. In Jesus' name. The Lord will bless, increase, and prosper you. For those who have been staying on while the intro was playing, God bless you. We appreciate you. You are all welcome on board to this edition of the Corpus Forum where we talk about how to stay together in love, peace, and harmony. So you're all welcome in Jesus. So don't forget that we are on two platforms. We are on two platforms. We are on Facebook. That's our Facebook address. Let's get sharing, 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 sharing. Let's get sharing. Let's invite as many people as possible. All your friends you know, invite them, whether they're married or not, bachelors or spinsters, and single mothers, single fathers, or even divorced, just invite them. On your Facebook page, on your timeline, within the groups you belong to, and God will bless you. And also, we are on YouTube. That is our YouTube channel. God bless you as you begin to join us via YouTube. Make sure you notify your friends and let them come on board. All your subscribers on your page on Facebook, let them on your channel, let them all come and join. And God will bless you. you know you shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are all welcome in the name of Jehovah, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Mother God. We touch your life and our life will not be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. You are all welcome. Please invite somebody. Tell them Corpus Forum is on and God will bless everyone in Jesus' name. You know what? This program will benefit everybody and God bless you. Please invite people. Share this program and God bless everyone in Jesus' name. We can see your comments on both platforms, either Facebook or YouTube. So make a comment, say hello. Happy New Month. I know this Happy New Month. Happy First Sunday to everyone out there. God will bless you because I will reward you Amen. and bless you mightily in Jesus' name. And you are not watching by accident or by divine appointment. And this God will divinely locate you yes. like never before. I <coughs> say once again, He will divinely locate you, divinely locate your relationship, divinely locate your marriage, divinely locate your husband and your wife, your children. He will divinely locate everything concerning you because He will begin to work His wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Invite somebody to come along to this program, yes. and God will even bless you and the people you are inviting, and every one of us in Jesus. And I remember this program is interacting, yes. so please be a part of this, and God will bless us all in Jesus' name. Shall we pray, Father? We thank you, bless you, Father. We give you all the praise, glory, honor. Marvelous King, I tell our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the first, the last, and the end. Thank you for the grace you're giving to us to be here again, even in your presence. I accept our thanks in Jesus' Amen. name. We thank you for allowing us to see the first Saturday, the first Sunday in the seventh month of this year. You've kept watch over us and mm. don't allow any evil to befall us. Hallelujah. Even as families, as married couples, even as singles, even as divorced, even as separated, even as bachelor spinsters, even as young ones and mm. old ones, you've kept watch over us. Mighty Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Every single for in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, we invite you to this program. Have your way. Amen. Rule over, take Amen. over, have your way. Amen. We surrender everything to you. Amen. Mighty Father, manifest your glory. Amen. Touch every viewer. Amen. We come against every evil work of the enemy and we bind with cast into hell in the name of Jesus. Amen. We cover ourselves, the program, the the viewers with the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Going to have your way. Amen. Touch a marriage. Amen. Touch a life. Amen. Touch a relationship. Amen. Have your way, O oh Lord. Amen. And let your name be glorified. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And those who are who are forgotten, Lord, remind them. Let them be reminded. And Lord, let them come on board. And Amen. those who need who would need the word today, let them come on board. Let Amen. them be blessed. Thank you, Lord. Thank In you, Jesus' Father. precious and wonderful name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are welcome to Corpus Forum. Please invite somebody, tell them, and God will bless us all in Jesus' name. Let's invite, let's invite, invite somebody, invite somebody, call somebody, let them come on board, call somebody on YouTube, call somebody on Facebook. You know, begin to invite and God will bless everyone mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your life shall never remain the same again. So let's Amen. invite, let's give them a boss, let's give them a call, text them, send the links to them. Use every means. If you can even quickly call them to call to, to watch. And if you are with your mm -hmm. husband, not together, sitting together with your wife, 
take the device or invite him or her wherever you are so that both of you can watch together because it's very important to watch together so you can gain together and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, once again, you are welcome. God bless you. Invite somebody. Bless someone. Please, if you are out there watching, let us know you are out there. Bless you. God bless everybody. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Just drop a comment. It could, it could be, hi, hello, and God will bless us all in Jesus' name. And, welcome on board. And if a servant of God, let's know you are there. Mm -hmm. Say something. Make a comment. You can type, God bless you. Or you are favored, or you are lifted, just a word. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you. If you're a man or woman of God, you can see Pastor Chichi there already as a woman of God. God mm -hmm. bless you, woman of God will bless you. And every other person who has joined, God will bless you. So let's invite as many people as possible. Let's call our mm -hmm. friends, and God will bless every individual in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. So welcome to Corpus Forum. This is a forum where we talk about how to stay together in love peace and harmony. In the beginning, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 2, 18, the Lord God also said, it's not good for man to be alone. I will make for him a suitable helper. That's why God created Eve in Genesis chapter 2, 22. And from the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made a woman and brought her to him. So married couples are to ask that bit as one. Are you one with your spouse? In Genesis 2, 24, the Bible says, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. Amen, amen, amen. We have some mottos that we talk about before then. If you're joining us for the very first time, we air this program every Sunday at 8 p.m. That's UK time. Every Sunday at 8 p.m. Put reminders and God will bless you. We are so glad you are able to join us. And God will bless, increase, and prosper you. And God will make you flourish mightily and marvelously Amen. in the name of Jesus. So you are welcome on board. Amen. The first motto is staying together in love, peace, and harmony. Yes. Are you staying together in love, peace, and harmony with your spouse? Even are you even at peace with yourself? Mm. Because for you not to be at peace with anybody, they must be at peace with themselves. Yes. So are you staying together in love? peace and harmony and god will bless us all as we do that in jesus name and also you are married to your spouse and your hearts beating as one mm. one way one thought one i agree and the bible says one lord one baptism one savior one you see also our hearts must beat as one if you want your marriage to work and become a success then your heart must must beat as one mm. that is you agree together you know sometimes we compromise sometimes we let go sometimes um, um we let go of our will not that we are but because of love sake and marriage sake and because you want your heart to beat as one there's nothing as good as a heart beating as one so let's all strive even as couples out there to make sure we have the same thought we have the same vision we have the same goal if somebody comes to meet you as a man as a husband you are saying something and when they go and meet your wife your wife too is saying something or if they come and meet you as the wife you are saying something and they go and meet your husband you are saying something that is two hearts that beat as one and that's very important that is they are both saying the same thing yes 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 Amen. yes but saying the same thing. Yes. And um, it says marriage is work in progress. It never ends. Yes, so that means it doesn't matter for how long you have been married. I guess if you go and ask those who have been married for so long, as in like 50 years, mm. they will still tell you, well, we are still working at it. We are, because you know what? We are human beings. Yes, and as human beings, we just show up some, you know, some. But I saw, because we are special species, mm. we just show up some things. And I'm sure your spouse will say, where did this come from? Mm. Where did you get this from? And it could be something good, mm. and it could be the other way around too. But you see, because that's because we are, like one preacher said, we are, we are, we are wonder-working machines, which is the truth. So it says that marriage is work in progress. So you know what, don't get tired of working on your marriage. Mm. You must not get tired, all of us must not get tired. And God will bless us all in Jesus' name. What is telling you that you cannot make your husband to be what you think he should be overnight. Mm -hmm. I cannot make your wife to be what you think she should be overnight. Mm -hmm. It is progress. Patience, patience, patience. Yes, patience. Yes. You know, they say that if you are patient enough, if you boil stone, it will crack. I don't know how true that is, but I'm talking about patience. So if you are patient enough, mm -hmm. patient 
Patience goes a long mm -hmm. way in marriage. Mm -hmm. Patience will allow you to endure. Patience, no, let me even throw that open. What would patience um, um, bring out in a marriage? I said, mm -hmm. patience will allow you to endure. So, what are the qualities that patience will bring in a marriage? Okay, so what are the benefits? Of being patient. Yes. Of having patience. Mm -hmm. So, what are the benefits or what can come out, your know, benefits and what can come out of being patient? Like, for example, I said, endurance. Mm -hmm. When you are patient, you endure and then you see the change. Mm -hmm. So it's only true, we, so, we are talking about, that's what I told people, we are talking about marriage is work in progress. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's not an overnight issue. Mm -hmm. It's not a microwave issue. Mm -hmm. It's not an issue that you just do like that. You click your finger. And it happens like that. It's not so that what uh, patience is the key yeah. patience is the key so in patience and true patience what are the benefits that we can gain uh, or what are the what did you say benefits the yeah, profits, profits and benefits advantages, advantages of being patient i said mm -hmm. number one brings endurance you're able to endure yes and then i would say it actually allow you even yourself to work on your character yes sir. because if somebody is impatient too mm. it can be a minus even to that person's exactly. life exactly may we not put minus may we not minus from our lives in jesus Amen. name so when you are being patient you are you are indirectly working on your own character yes sir yes sir because patience is a virtue yes sir somebody says it brings peace and harmony. harmony of course when you are patient it brings peace and harmony mm. because you know many marriages are broken why because one party or the other party they are not patient enough. enough if only they can be patient if only they could have listened they will still be together today mm. you understand and you know many part managers also are going through friction mm. in the same way because patience is not playing a major role mm. amongst them patience is the key mm. patience is the key somebody says it brings comfortability in a marriage that is it. Yeah. When you are patient, when you are patient, it brings comfortability in a marriage. There's comfort. Everyone mm. is comfortable in the marriage. It's not that they are trying to watch each other's back and say, okay, let's do this, let's do that. I'm watching you, you're watching me. No. When there's patience, it brings, um, what did you say? Comfortability, yeah. comfortability in a marriage. In a marriage. And God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. And then it makes the marriage to last yes, until so. Jesus will come. Mm. Because when you are very patient, you are tolerating each other, what will happen? At the end of the day, the marriage will surely work. That's why I don't listen to anyone that says, ah, it won't work. Yeah. You put in patience. And by the grace of God, patience will, will, will I mean, the marriage will work in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody say maturity, maturity. Mm. Of course, when you are patient, it builds you up and you become a matured man mm. and become a matured woman. Mm. You become a matured husband, you mm. become a matured wife. Mm. And then you can relate easily, which means that what your wife or your husband would think would have upset you, you just patiently diffuse it. Yes. And your wife will say, ah, she's not getting annoyed, though. she's not getting annoyed though, or upset. Ah, what's happening? That's because patience has come in and set in mm -hmm. and diffuse the situation. Also, mm -hmm. patience diffuses bad situations. Yes, That's mm -hmm. what patient, patient does. And that will help us in Jesus' name. Yes, amazing. so many women should not suffer domestic violence because of patience in this case. So, so we can still advise the man or woman to become patient. Of course, we're not saying that if a man is cruel or the uh, woman is cruel, cruel yeah. where the, that is where life is in danger. Where life it's is in danger. endangered. Of course. Because even for that person even to be at that point, mm. that means she has been trying, he has been trying, but the moment life is endangered, that, that would be another ball game entirely. entirely. So of course, that's another ball game entirely. Mm. And somebody says, so somebody says okay. So that is it, maturity. So patience is very important yes. in a relationship, mm. in a marriage. Yes. Patience quells quarrels. Mm. Patience quells Quarrels. Mm. If one party is making noise and shouting and letting out the steam, mm. and the other party is patient, just calm. Calm. What happens? There will be a diffusion of whatever it mm. is. But if the other party is, not, is impatient and they begin to mm. exchange words, 
that leads to something else. And then, help us. Uh, and then in addition, I believe that when you are patient, even personally, yes, you will enjoy tranquility, mm. you will enjoy peace of mind. Yes. You know, say, ah, you are looking fresh it's because you are not quarreling every day. Yes, sir. You are patient, you are not arguing. Mm. What is the point of going to bed? You are arguing, waking up, you are arguing, you are in the kitchen, you are arguing, mm. you are everywhere, it's argument, argument. But then the person we know, that person will look older than their age. But the moment you say, you know what, I'm just going to chill out. I'm in this marriage by the grace of God. I'm going to be patient. And at the end of the day, everything will work out. And you yourself, even on the inside, you will feel happy. Yes. That's very important. Yeah. Somebody said, it moves mountains. Oh, it's yes. When you, are, you know, if you are patient enough, the toughest, highest mountain will be moved. Oh, yes. Through patience. Mm. Patience plays a lot, an important role in marriages, mm. in relationship, mm. and if one of the spouse is patient enough, mm. do you know that they begin to live in peace, love, and mm. harmony. Very, very important. So may God give us that spirit of patience, and may God put patience in the life or in the marriages of people who are watching in the name of Jesus. Like we said, it's not that we said that be patient to God forbid until somebody will break your hand. No. Be patient or somebody will remove one eye. No, 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 no. That's not what we are, we are talking about. Normal human beings now. Yes, yes. Because where there's aggression, where no. there's all those things, it is abnormal. Mm, that's abnormal. Mm. Said, patience brings happiness. Of Joy. course, it brings happiness. Yeah. That's why you see a happy couple. Of course, they have, they have, they have been patient enough. And through patience, you see them happy. You see mm. them. You, you be thinking that are they faking? No, they're not faking. Mm. They are happy together, and they are moving together, and they are working together mm. because of patience. Patience is very important. May God help us in Jesus' name. Somebody say, how about if the other person is not patient? Well, if the other person is not patient, of course, you. of course, you are patient. You are yes, working sir. on your character. As long as the person is not violent towards you, yes. anybody can do anything. And I know some people that give people mental torture. Mm. Still be paid, at least I think if you can still cope with it, still cope. Mm. As long as there's no physical or violence, to be honest, I, do, I cannot tolerate what we call abuse, that is the violent one. People are beating, people are slapping, excuse me. The, the, I mean, it's a weak man. Uh, or, even a or weak woman. woman you don't beat your spouse. wife, you don't beat your husband. Mm. It is wrong. So that is why, of course, when we say patient, being patient, I'm not saying that somebody is beating you. Uh, please, and you are staying there. Excuse me. Mm. And don't let me say what I want to say. That's why out there, let no body, let no spouse, whether you are, whether you are the wife or the man, don't touch your spouse. It is wrong. Mm. It is ungodly. It is wickedness. And God will help us. So that means we don't buy the idea of a, Hey, look, oh, they said you should be patient. If I slap you three times, you turn the other one. That's not what we are saying, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't kill that spouse of yours. We are saying that patience and it's in character, in everything in you response. do, in your response. So if, you know, you know, and you know, in a marriage, which is always the case. One is more talkative than the other. Of course. One can get angrier more than the other. And at times it can be on the same level. What we are saying is be patient with one another. And I believe as Christians, we don't believe you. I mean, I mean we don't believe that a man that fears God will be slapping the wife of or course. beating up the wife. Or a woman that fears God will be beating and slapping the husband. No. You see, we have to be godly men and women. So may God help us just justice. Amen. And God himself will uphold us. And what mm. is wonders and miracles, even in every life and destiny in Jesus' name. And, and sorry, Pastor. And can I just say this? You know, we're talking about this patience. Even if somebody you are married to is not patient, like we said, I'm not talking about physical abuse. Yes, if the person is not patient, you being patient will rob on your spouse. Of course, that's what I'm saying. Drop on your spouse. Mm -hmm. Because someone is asking that if somebody is being not patient, you know what? It rob on your spouse. In the sense, that's why I'm talking about patience. Yeah. You know, one spouse will be more patient than the other. Yes. And the one who has the grace of being more patient mm. should exhibit and put in motion and put in gear and put in action patience. And no matter what, if one of the spouse is trying to run man and he sees that the person is trying to run, trying to run man is just patient, of course they Maybe will pipe down. Mad. And those things happen, they will pipe down and cool down and say, I, I hope nothing is wrong with, with them mm -hmm. and the way they are behaving. Look at the person they are even talking to, is not uh, answering them a word and you understand. So that's where it, it comes in. Whereby, so when we talk about patience, 
both parties cannot be equally patient at the same time. Mm -hmm. So when one is, if I use this word, sorry to use this word, if one is barking like a dog, the other one will be quiet. And that's how it works. Don't so, use that language for your spouse. Oh, no, I'm just now why are you barking like a dog now? No, I'm just using that for, for you to understand what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. The other patient with the other spouse will be quiet. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So may God help us in Jesus' name. And can I just give an example? For instance, when husband and wife, when they are outside, and it can happen to anybody. If you are very patient, one must be patient. If one is not patient, that's why you see couples arguing and fighting. Yes. You know, although they are not doing physical one, though, but they are exchanging serious words in the presence of everybody. Yes. It's because both of them are impatient. Patient, For course. instance, if one is um, not patient and one is patient, when a spouse says something that's that you don't like, if you are patient, you don't have to respond. You can wait until you get home, and then when uh, behind closed doors, you trash it out. You actually say, excuse me, what you said the other time. Now I want to answer you. But because people were there, I didn't want to answer you. Do you know that is patient? But if, because, that's why self-control is very important. Mm. If somebody will say, I mean, if your husband or your wife will say something outside, and you don't like it, and you are responding instantly, ah, the two of you will become like something else. Mm. That's why I'm telling you, one must be patient. Oh, this is emotional abuse is a very serious case. One can be playing patience, patience and be emotionally traumatized. Mm -hmm. What advice, what do you advise in this case? Mm -hmm. So what do you advise in this case, in that sense? You, you we are Christians, you be patient and you pray for mm -hmm. your spouse. If you say, what is it, uh, emotional abuse, you pray and you traumatize. Seek, traumatize. You pray and you seek her. You understand? That's it. Sometimes the spa, one of the fathers is being traumatized, and the other one is trauma, the trauma person, mm -hmm. whatever they call it, they need counseling. Mm -hmm. That's why you have your pastors there. That's why you have counselors there. Mm -hmm. That's why you have all these things in place mm -hmm. whereby they will be able to help you. you know, sometimes the person carrying out the trauma, tra tra the trauma emotional. and emotional abuse may not realize and know. Mm -hmm. Some know, some don't know. And if they hear the truth, they mm. may change, yeah. but with patience, that's where patience comes in also. But seek advice, mm. seek help, talk to your pastors, mm. seek help, talk to counselors out there, mm. there. seek help because sometimes help would make things work out and pan out with ease. And then, in addition, do you know nothing has come to realize if you see whether a man or a woman that is going through emotional abuse and they're having trauma, it it shows it means most of the time it means that from the beginning of the marriage there has been an emotional abuse yes. and one of the parties is covering it yes, i don't sorry. want people to know i don't want people to know i don't want people to know year one year two of course emotional abuse can be very serious hey, i don't want people to know year 10 12 13 and so on and so forth you see emotional abuse does not start uh, overnight mm. and then brings trauma it's overnight mm. it's a gradual thing the moment you notice emotional abuse Call your spouse if he's not listening. There should be somebody that this man will respect. Excuse or me, this oh, woman. or this woman. What I'm going through, oh, I am not enjoying it. Oh. This person is killing me on the inside. That means you have to speak out. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, many people will want to conceal everything. Mm -hmm. We want to pray to the world. Oh, okay. my world. My marriage is the best. Mm -hmm. Oh, my world. My marriage is from heaven. Praise God for that. But if you are suffering, speak out. There should be somebody that you can speak to. And may God help us. And you see, like one average, one proverb in my place, what you will not take as a rich man or a rich woman, you will not take it when you are poor. Mm. So the moment the marriage starts and you begin to see some strange behavior, you know, emotional torture is a bad one, no? And do you know how they play this thing? People that are experts in playing emotional torture, what they do is they will, say that they will isolate that spouse. Whether male or female, they will make sure the spouse, no friend, no relationship with anybody. When anybody is coming to their house, they will find their house. So the moment they graduate from that and isolating their spouse, then they now go to the next level. Because they know that uh -huh, even if I do anything, there's nowhere she can go to. There's nowhere he yeah. can go to. Nobody can help her. That's why I'm sorry, oh. Don't allow your spouse to isolate isolate you. I say something that I say something you can leave. If God did not want human beings around us, we are in crying. God would have created only one human being, put monkeys, 
put dogs and then put mountains and trees and then go to Bristol or Manchester, create another human being, only one person. No, go create human beings around us so that we can help each other. That's why. If anybody is going through an abuse, speak up. If anybody will not speak up, they will not play with depression. Why are people depressed today? Because they bottle it in, bottle it in, bottle it in, and um, go for big bad thing. From there, they have high blood pressure. From there, they have depression. From there, they have medication. That will not be your case. That will not be our case in Jesus' name. Someone is aware there is no abuse. Patience with prayer. Yes. We don't pray. We actually pay off and mm. bring about change of the spouse. Yes. Which is which is which is very very good. So someone says talking to the right people about it is a form of therapy as well. That's true. You know, one thing about about which is what you're talking about. Let me understand. That is um. If you if you speak out yes. and voice out, mm. it's a good therapy. You see that it's as if a big weight has been lifted from your yes. heart. That's why it's always important to speak out. Mm. You know the statistics that during this COVID lockdown, domestic violence was very very high. Yes, and you see many people could not speak out. There's some people in the house that if they want to talk, they have to go and talk behind them because the spouse will almost. Kill them. kill them. Mm -hmm. They cannot fool, they cannot do anything. And it became worse because you know people are in the house, they get frustrated, they get and mm -hmm. when it comes to financial constraints and all that, mm -hmm. money is not coming in and the debt is piling up. You know, if care is not taken. So all these things put together, I believe with patience, it got um, with patience and therapy and speaking out, mm -hmm. we will be able to resolve it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey that's why we want to tell everyone watching out there. Don't turn yourself into a terrorist. Mm. Don't harass your husband. Yes, Don't harass your, your wife. wife. Don't give that woman mental torture. Mm. Don't give that man mental torture. You know? Like I tell people, treat your spouse the way you want to be treated. Of course. And uh, I say one thing. If you really fear God, you'll be very careful what you are doing to your spouse. Because mm. no matter what, that spouse is a child of God. Yes. You are a child of God. So treat Others the way you want to be treated. Don't treat your wife or your husband as if that wife or or that animal. I, 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 because the way some people treat their husband or their wife is as if the person is an animal. Mm. Look, you are not married to an animal. Yes, you are married to a human being like mm. you, created in the image mm. and, and in the likeness of God. God. And can I tell you this? Doesn't matter who you are. God expects a standard from you. Mm. You, you. You can't say, "Oh, I love God so much. I speak so much tongues. Oh, that is fire in my mouth. Oh, I am the Elijah for our times." If it's a person who can't start it, it doesn't matter what you are calling yourself. And you know, because people. People are healing people outside. They think, oh, I am the best. But on the inside, they have turned themselves into uh, the the lion or the lioness of their family. It shouldn't be. Mm. Let that woman breathe. Let that man breathe. Because one day, one day, do you know, I used to joke, some people will go to hell fire because of the way they've been treating their spouse. And may God help us in Jesus' hey, name. Somebody else on YouTube. Okay. Pastor Chris, he says, in case we are one is taking advantage of the other's patients to continue misbehaving. Yeah. What is true, you know, sometimes you take mm. your spouse for granted yes. because of their patience. You keep mm. praying and you start to The only solution is prayer. You keep prayer. praying for that spouse. And one day, one day, God will touch that spouse. That spouse will realize what he or she mm. is doing. Mm. Of course, truly, truly, if one is very patient, you cannot take in the last part. You take that for granted mm. and override it and say she will, she, will, she will not talk. He will not. Mm. He will not talk. Or she dare not talk. Or he dare not talk. Mm. You understand? So with prayer and with mm. more patience, I believe that the Lord will bring solution into such a case in the name of Jesus. As you were talking, you know what came to me? Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Yes, sir. Prayer is the master key. Amen. So prayer is the key and may God help us. Amen. So once again, you are welcome. That's just nugget. You know, ah, you go it's to restaurant, true. it's just nugget. Mm. Okay? Appetizer, they appetize your mouth, water your mouth. So what we have spoken about is just to water your mouth, to water your voice, to water your thinking process so that we can move on into what we have today. So Amen. once again, you are welcome. God will bless, increase and prosper you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. Something I just popped up before. We go yes. into what we have so we can deal with that and then go with what we have. It says, in case if therapy, talking to the right people, counseling and advice do not work, what's the next thing to do? 
because sometimes domestic violence can result to depression, to mental illness. Actually, we've spoken about that. Yes, that we are not talking about physical abuse now, yes. where somebody is slapping somebody, mm. somebody is pouring something on somebody. Excuse me, that and that your spouse is not for you to be treated. Even even when you have a dog, you don't even treat your dog anyhow. Mm. If you are a person that loves, so we don't, we don't, we don't. We don't sanction yes, or we don't support domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Like I tell people in my church, in our church, make sure you're, you're not slapping your wife or and make sure you're not slapping your husband. And I tell people, cry out. Because I tell people, cry out. And one thing I believe, if truly true people are really born again and they will go for godly counseling, I think it works. Yeah, it works. Um... Because many people, what, what people do, they do it out of, oh, that is my character before. Mm -hmm. But little by little by little by little, little by little. So most of the time, it works. It works. It, it works. works. That's why the word As of God pastors, is, we've seen that yes, work. of course. That's why the word of God is important. Mm -hmm. And also, even you as a pastor or you as a counselor, you must lead by example. Yes, so... They must see the example in you. Yes. So that when you begin to talk about marriage, they will know that you are an authority in, in that, that area. area. You cannot be putting down your wife or your husband on the altar or wherever mm. you go and then people can begin to want to talk about marriage. Oh. People will not mm. listen to you because they will see the way. You know, church members are not... Uh, like idiots. A, like a father in law will say, church members are not, not stupid, stupid and idiots. They know and see what they are doing. So you cannot be doing something behind the scenes openly and people will see you and then you come and pretend that everything is okay and then... You know, you understand, try to walk in that or, 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 or cancel in that area. Mm. That's why may God help us in the name of Jesus. That is why can I say this? And please, I you can I stand to be corrected. Can I say this? If anybody is a servant of God mm. and they are not managing their home, mm. they are maltreating their husband, they are maltreating their oh. wife, you don't have anything to do with marriage counseling. Mm. You know why I say that? Because the moment you're going to marry counseling, you there's no way you can do it right. Because you yourself, you are not you, you are not uh, you are not performing well in that area. Automatically, if you are a man, you be biased against uh, yeah, yeah, women. women, and if you're a woman, you be biased against uh, men. So because excuse me, somebody cannot be shutting down their wife from the pulpit, displacing their wife anyhow, talking to them anyhow, and it could be the other way around too. And somebody will now come with marriage counseling. Mm. I bet you will be a liar. They will not be a liar in Jesus' name. The mm. Bible says we must live by... It says those who are servants of God. Yes, sir. There's a way, but the Paul puts it. We must do what now? Be imitators of Christ as beloved children. And he said, he said, imitate me. Yeah, imitate me. That's as I imitate Christ. How many people can say that as pastors? Yes, yeah, so. Can tell your church that imitate the way I treat my wife. Imitate the way I treat my husband. And do that. And go and uh, reciprocate that or copy that in your homes. Will it work? Yeah. That is where, will it work? Mm -hmm. So may God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. There's another question. Since so some people start their spouse with sex for months, even years after talking to the right people, nothing work. What can one do? Ah, you pray. You pray. Huh? You pray. If it's a woman, you, 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 I don't want to use the word entice. Of course, you're going to meet your husband, you hug him, there's no matter how you hug, you kiss, you do all that. Of course, the man will respond. And the other way around too, you as a man, you behave well during the day, you will help your wife during the day, mm -hmm. you speak to her, Hogger during the day and then when it comes to night, of course. So it's not only the, you know, sometimes we see when it comes to couples, mm. the couple that is, 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 is saying something like that may have, may not act in the right sense to quell the situation. Mm. They are waiting for the other spouse to make their move. Mm. Now, we are husband and wife. Make your move too as a wife. Mm. Make your move too as a husband to resolve this situation. Mm. So in such an instance, if you've spoken, you've done everything, and it's still now you have a role to play. Mm. Bring it to, don't be waiting ahead. They one and waiting, they two and waiting, they three and waiting. Mm. And when you go to bed, they four, you wear trousers, you wear everything so tough. You of course, armor. <laughs> of course now, the man will look at you, this one is not serious. The man will look at you, this woman is not serious, you understand? Uh, by the time you hit the bed, you are snoring, of course, you want to you are not serious. So, you also have a role to play. You know, marriage, each individual has a role to play. We cannot say it's the husband's fault, we cannot say it's the wife's fault. It's both of you that ha you have a role mm. to play, to make things work out, to make matters 
um, work out and, mm. and, and, and so that peace can be in your marriage. Mm. So don't begin to point finger at God. We are so we are so quick. quick and so used to pointing finger that it's my spouse who is wrong. It's my spouse who is something right. But you don't look at yourself. Sometimes as, as Paul said, examine ourselves. We need to examine mm. ourselves also. See if we are also are doing the right thing, if you are taking the right and if you are mm. taking the right act. You've hugged your husband and your woman, you've done everything, and yet it's not, and then that's a different you are body. Cooking, uh -huh. You are doing everything, everything you need to do. You dress very well. Don't you dress very well, mm. that dress to kill your husband on the bed, you understand? And he's not responding, then there's something wrong. We need to talk more about that. So, may God help us. And then, if there's too much quarreling during that's the day, it's... quarreling, mm. argument, quarreling, mm. argument, quarreling, argument. You don't have anything in common. Yes, sir. There will be no sex. Yes, of course. Because both parties will not be attracted. Of course, there the can be other. Be of, course, of course, there can be other reasons so yes, behind the scene that nobody knows. Mm. But you know, we are just talking on the surface Talk now. Yeah. That's why even even if a thing like that is going on. That's why we have pastors, people we can talk to. Yes, sir. So, you see, just open up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. At times, it's good to open up. Or... It's good, though. It's good. It's good to open up. Open up your spouse and tell him, her, look, you are killing me. I'm not happy. We are we are supposed to be meeting. So open up. Many times we actually we I'm not saying I'm not being anyhow, but women tend to be silent on this and say so they can endure and African women. women. So we need to speak women need to speak out more on this, you know? When we spoke about chop open, we spoke about that. Women need to speak out more. Women need to, so don't suffer in silence. That's also mental torture. It's mm. mental torture. So may God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. So all our discussions, now we have finished that time. Going. Let's go into what we have today. Mm. Oh, I, I believe we have been blessed already. Mm. All our discussions are based on Christian principles from the Bible. It is an interactive discussion. As you can see now, it's been interactive. We will talk about your concerns, which you have just done now, mm. troubles, issues, and also answer any questions that you may have, which you have been doing so far. Mm. So may God help us and bless everyone in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the, and the word from the scripture for today is Psalm 55, verse 2. Hmm. Psalm 55. <laughs> Before what you is read that? that. <laughs> I love this question. Before you read that. Hmm. Hmm. If your patience runs out, what can you do? That is what you are saying. Hmm. Okay. Are you going to say something? No, okay, stop. If your patience runs out, what can you do? Hmm. That is, you've done everything you know how to do. Having done how to stand. Stand. Hmm. Stand there. What do you do? And do you know it's a very serious question? If your patience runs out, slot in. Endurance. Long suffering. If endurance runs out, mm. it's letting long suffering. You understand? Mm. So I don't believe patience can run out. Mm. Patience upon I know that if somebody does something repeatedly, you get fed up. But patience will still resolve mm. the issue, no matter what. Patience, we're not talking about domestic violence now, you know, that's a different uh -huh. case. We're talking about other issues. That is patience, like the one our sister asked about. If your husband is not coming near you, your wife is not coming near mm. you. Patience will resolve things and speaking out. Mm. You know, even while we are being patient, we don't just be, we don't, we're not being patient by staying in folding. the corner and folding our arms. Saying, I've had a couple of people and should be patient, and be patient. No, you are acting, you are talking, you are trying to resolve the issue on mm. ground. It's not like you're folding your arms and looking at oh, your patient. Mm. Though, I've had it. No. Patience including includes action. So mm. you need to act, you need to demonstrate, mm. you need to speak out, you need to sometimes patience is also resisting what you don't want. Yes. Resist, no, I don't want this. I don't like this. I don't like this. No, I will not take this from you. You understand? Mm. That's also part of so you have a role to play when you talk about patience. Patience is very important. So may God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. We are talking about, of course, it's it's easier said than, than done. done. Of course. But remember fact. when I was in Nigeria, there was this woman, and I'm talking about patience. As long as your life is not endangered, endangered, endangered there was this woman. Mm. She had four children for the husband, and by the time she was with the fifth pregnancy, mm. the man went out, and the man had another woman, mm. and that woman too was pregnant, and guess what? The man went away for seven years, mm. and this man had seven, uh, five children where he went to. The one at home, legally married to, had two story, had his woman, somebody I know, had five children. And when the man went out, the man had five kids outside mm. with the same person within seven years. And do you know, the one that is the original wife, 
was very patient. Mm. She was praying. He became born again. Mm. And guess what? After seven years old, the man came back. Came back. Oh. The man came back. came back. How did I know? The man that I went to full gospel businessman fellowship with the woman to testify to the power of God. Our God is the God of restoration. As long as, long as your life is not endangered, mm. because if anybody will die, God forbid, they are gone, they are gone. Life continues. Uh -huh. I'm talking about where there is no violence. You know, and you know today by the grace of God they are together and so they are very old now. And there's other people and there's, there's, there's another couple I know. The man went out for some years, maybe I don't know how many years, but where I went to, he had some babies there. And the man was born again. Woman was born again. But you know today, the man came back home. That's what we call patience. So, so but you see, it all depends on how far we can go in life. That's why we have to be working on our own um, uh, our marriage with fear and trembling. And then with uh, that is why that is in the journey of life, we must know the will of God for us. That is why you see, for those who are not married, I'm talking about those who are not married. Yes. For those, let me just throw this in. For those who are not married, who are watching us, mm. never become wife number two. Ne that was that was thrown in my head. Very important because mm. if wife number one is a prayer warrior, my God, that man will leave the wife number two and go back to wife number one. Yes. Yeah, so. So please wait patiently. I know that, and this is also patience. Wait patiently for the right man to come alone. Mm. Never marry or go out with a man that is married already mm. or that has kids around and don't even know where he is because as he's going around having children, he will come to you too, God forbid, and have children and go again because it's a waka waka, it's up and down, you understand? So that's why you know, be careful. But most it's importantly, in the globe. Yeah, no, thank you. Most importantly, if you are single, please don't I go out or marry a married man. Because the wife, let me tell you something, mm. if the wife is a Christian, she will pray and use everything in Christian dawn. Hey! Her husband back. Bring now, stone and yes. thunder. Now, if the wife is not a Christian and she's on the other side, whether well, witch or My whatever, God. she uses every power in her capacity to fight against that woman and get her husband back. Back! And you see, that's where it's more dangerous because it's operation no mercy. Mm -hmm. And God will not do anything about that. Why? Because, of course, the woman who is second wife has done wrong already. Yes. So that's why, please, we beg of you. Never. Anna, never, ever, 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 ever. If a man is coming to toast you, drive him, kick him away. Spit in his face. Thank, I'm not saying that, but that's, that's assault, Pastor. That's no. assault. In this okay, assault. okay, okay. In so, quotes. Mm -hmm. In quotes. So, drive him away, send him away. Now, and don't spoil so my destiny. Don't spoil my life. Don't spoil my destiny. So, God, that's and so, that also, too. Married because there are some young men now, mm. they are going for married women. Why not with married women if you are a single man? Sugar mom, sugar, sugar mom. mommy, money, money, hey, money. Jehovah, mm. may we not sell our destinies in Jesus' name. Amen. But Amen. what are we saying? Patience is the key. That's Do you know? Right. I know when a man somewhere in the world, the husband went to took second wife for, for years. The mama was patient, praying. But eventually the second wife died mm. and today the mama mm. took back the, the husband. The husband. Nobody it. can take away a prayer warrior's uh, spouse. Of course, of course, they will come. They back. will use prayer to kill the, the Of course so. the the the, the Because the, the, when the they go when they go and take the Lord man the Lord says, oh, Whatever I've joined together, let no man put us on down. There's somebody who wants to put me asunder, Lord. Fight against that person. God will hear. God will hey, fight Lord, in your wrath, arise and fight. Hey. That person has grounds for prayers. Yes. Why? Because the person that took the husband is in the wrong. It doesn't matter how bad you think that woman is the first wife. That's none of your business. Go and look for your own and marry your own, and then you'll be happily married in the name because of if Jesus. You marry your own, no devil, no of course, now, woman can steal him or her from you. Because okay, let me let me let me ask this question. If you if you don't even do this, we do this for next week. Doesn't matter. But okay. let me ask one question. Okay. Let me ask one question. You somebody who married a man, a married man, and you are married together. Sorry, let me ask this question. What kind of prayer are you going to pray? What? what what's that? Play with a prayer warrior and you get it. Of course now. Of for course, you. For God, of, of course. <laughs> so what are, what type of prayer mm. would the second wife pray? To, to God. To God, to hold the man down. I don't know what type of prayer 
they would pray. If the woman had died, that's a different case, you understand? Of course, if you want to die, go for it, go for it. If a woman dies, then the man is free to remarry, the woman is free to of remarry. Course, that's what the Bible says. But course. the woman is alive and you take the man. So tell me, what type of prayer are you going to pray to God? Mm. That Lord, and hold this man for me. On hey. what ground? On what rights? On what Bible principle and Bible word mm. are you going to step on and stand they on to pray the word? Solomon had 1,000 women. And, and God look at the end of Solomon. Of course now, of course, of course. So, God had the days in the Old Testament that people used to marry two, three, four because they wanted to increase and expand. That's the reason why. But now, in the New Testament, they said, mm. one man, one wife. Yes. It is there. Plainly in the Bible. Mm. Plainly in the Bible. So, may God help us in the name of Jesus. God uphold us so that Amen. you don't go and get into danger. Just a food for thought mm. for people out there who are not married. I'm just mm. going those who are not married. Mm. Please don't step into it, don't enter into it because it is very dangerous. It's like a cobra, king cobra. Mm. King cobra that's ready to strike. And um, that wife strikes. Ah, nobody will help know, us. Yes. Somebody is just coming to my head now. Now, okay, what about somebody's watching and say, Well, well, I'm already in that. Too. I am married to a married man and I have children for him. You know that's my child that I love him and I, I won't mention the name. They do what we call restitution. Mm -hmm. If you go and marry a married man and you join that church, they will say do restitution. And what is restitution? They will tell you, leave the man alone mm -hmm. with his wife and then carry your children and then the, the man will be taking care of his children by sending blah 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 and they will, and they will tell you go and do go and marry somebody of else because in the first place you are not even married to the man and to be honest with you life has got enough battles than to be inviting unnecessary unusual battles into life because whether the original wife is praying or not whether she's a prayer warrior or she's the other side that woman will find the other woman with everything you they have that is it so god, i'm always saying that some servants of god uh, let their spouse with my other man or woman of course it happens mm -hmm. and these people don't have knowledge of, of the word of god. of god i know some i can mention i will not mention this but i know some two three people of god that married and they divorced do you know that they still remained single? single. They are still till today, tomorrow. Till today, they are still single because they know the scriptural and they know the biblical principle mm. that, and the best they can do is return back to their wife. Mm. You understand? That is what the Bible says. That you must return back to your wife, not marry someone else. So, Bible does not condone, tolerate, condone, tolerate allow, condone divorce. Mm. It's not in the Bible. Let's be realistic. It's not in the Bible. Mm. Jesus told Moses that because and uh, not told the Pharisees it's because of your hardness of heart. Mm. That's why Moses wrote to, for you to issue a certificate of divorce. divorce. But in the beginning it was not so. Mm. But God, for whatever God has joined together, let not man put a son down. So that is the original plan of God. So anybody who is that's why you cannot you know you'll be saying on this program and even our Bible and other people that don't use a man or woman of God as your standard. Use the Bible as God. your standard. Mm. Let God, let the Bible, the Word of God be your standard. Because if you use human beings as standard, the then that is likely to follow. fall. I'm telling you. So don't mm. use anybody as a standard. Use the Word of God. What, go and look. What does the Word of God say about what I want to do? Mm. What does the Word of God say about what is happening around? Yes. What does the Word of God say about servants of God who are mightily used? And divorcing a man and another. Hey. What does God, 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 God say? God, God says no divorce. So you will not follow that. It's not a license for you because you know. Mm. Look at it now. Somebody may be saying that after the divorce, their ministry boomed and no expanded. Lie. Yes, it may be. Oh, let me. It may be in courts. It may be. You know, the Bible says that God left Saul, mm. and Saul still ruled almost. After that, for about 40 years, he and still God had sacked him. And God had sacked him. So he was occupying that position, but the presence of God was not with him. Mm. So I'm not saying that's what happens or will happen to the others, but you know, we know we sure what the word of God says about that. So never use a man or woman of God mm. as your standard. Use the Bible as a standard, and God will give you the grace in Jesus' name. The Bible says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Go and look at those when I say men or women of God. Once they divorce their, their, Why? their, their spouse, most of the time they will tell you they will just stay and just serve Jesus. Of course. And um, even there was even one, he was even saying, Look, 
I can't cope with a woman. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather just be alone. Mm -hmm. And and the man truly truly is in, I mean he, he's not even from bed to bed though. He's just focusing on God. The of God. But the point is, how many people can do, do that? that? That's why if you are a servant of God out there and you're planning, she must go, he must go. You better think twice. Think twice, you Because how many people I know people don't care these days. How many people want to go to a divorcee ministry? Let's let's be realistic. We are not talking about those maybe those when when um through and when when maybe when they were not born again or through ignorant and they gave back their single parents. We're not talking about those ones. I mean those who will leave one marriage, jump into another one. You know, and then that's another question. What about if the person they are married to has gone ahead and married another person? What would that person do? When I heard her. Mr. A and B, Mr. A and B are married. Mr. A and Mr. B. Sorry, Mr. A. sorry, oh, sorry, did I? Eh, eh, eh. Mr. A and Mrs. B are married. Sorry, oh, Mr. A and, and Mrs. Mrs. B. B are married. Let me say it again. Mr. A and Mrs. B are married. And then the wife or the husband left. And then has gone to marry. What is going to happen to the spouse? Will the, will the spouse wait or should the spouse marry? On, that's a very tough one. That's a tough one because as you give <laughs> you are the one who gave two, three examples of those who waited those who and waited. the husband came back. Yes, so we base our answer on that. Because truly truly we know people who have gone to marry mm -hmm. and other because someone is asking that what about those what about the man who paid the second wife or third wife's bridal price? They don't you know, know Jesus. They don't know Jesus now, and that's not proper. And that's what you're talking about. The person who is the bride, who knows the husband is married, mm -hmm. the man is married, and still mm -hmm. wanting to be the wife. Tomorrow's crime. Of course. Uh. Number one, it's either the man has deceived them, and number two, they think the man has money, so they are not looking at all, they're just looking at the, all the glitter that's not good. <laughs> and when they enter, they see that it's a problem. But you, as a first wife, just watch. Watch. And pray. And pray. And see God. And serve act. Jesus. That's it. And see God act on your behalf. Yeah. You cannot fight your battle. This battle you cannot mm -hmm. fight by yourself. Mm -hmm. It's only God that can fight the battle by yourself. But for you, so may God give us that grace to wait patiently, mm, mm. to wait patiently, and we wait patiently. I believe that the Lord Himself begin to work His wonders mm. and miracles, even in every life and destiny. Mm. In the name of Jesus. So, the point is, yes. let everybody mm. you are married. Stay in your marriage. Yes. Let no man or woman start gavalanting. Because yes, now sir. it is both parties. Yes, sir. You know, in this this is end time. Mm. As uh, men are cheating, women are cheating, cheating too. Of course. Let nobody cheat. That is it too. And do you know when people are cheating all over the place, there are consequences. Mm. Somebody said God will forgive you, but AIDS will not forgive of the course, person. Huh? Venereal disease will not forgive the person. Yes. That's why and 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 and, and, and I think Many things that are happening today is because people don't have the fear of God. They don't have the word of God in them. They are not rooted in God. Of course. I tell people, don't worship your spouse. Mm. Worship God. Of course. Because people make that mistake too. Mm. They won't worship God though. They are worshiping spouse. And the day the spouse will now turn and bite them. Mm. They are God where God will say, number one, am I even part of this marriage in the first place? Mm. Let God be the center of, course. of your relationship. And God will help you. So what's the second woman? Are strangers, of course. Of course. Second wives are strangers, so may God help us in Jesus' name. So it's a, mm. it's, it's it's a part of making up your mind mm. as a woman that I will never be a second wife. You understand? And there there are so many men out there that are single, not attached, no children, nothing yes, about attachment, no. and there. So if you pray more and be patient, that man will locate you as yes. a woman. And if you're a man, you will locate that woman out there that. That has no children and nothing, and then you marry, and both of you can now start your life together. Mm. Because what what is the what is the benefit mm. of each time somebody presses your bell unannounced or knocks your door, your heart is keeping a beat. Hey, is it somebody that that is it a child who is coming, or is it the wife that is coming, and is it you know I understand now you know, you know what I'm talking about because your heart is keeping a beat because you don't know who is at the door. Most apparently because the person did not announce that they are coming and just say no, bam, bam. But who is it? Bam, bam, bam. And the way the person will know some people the way they don't do it's very. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Because of what you are going uh -huh. to do now. Exactly. So you see, so to live a life of uh, stress free, stress free, fear free. One man, one woman, the main man and the main woman, the first man and the first woman mm. together. And that's why God did not create two Eves. 
they created one Eve for Adam. Yes. But God did not say that Adam should marry two. It is men. After God had created them, he had to decide that let me mm. marry two, let me marry three. And Adam, throughout his lifetime, he stayed with Eve. We never heard that Adam mm. be married. He stayed with Eve because one man, one woman. Mm. So may God help us. I like the name of my son is saying, Worship God, not your spouse. Of course. Yes. Okay. Because I've realized that, and I think this is common to women. Women tend to worship men. Of course, respect your husband. He's your boss. I, of course, I'm not disputing that. But God must be number one. Yes, Some people, why are you not coming to church? He's our uh, daddy. Uh, he's my honey. He's my every time. He's your honey. He's your husband. You don't have a relationship with God. God forbid. The day trouble will come. Where are you going to run to? Mm. Because if God has not been number one in a woman's or in a man's life, and then there's trouble, how can you run to the living God? Yes. Because number four, no, in the first place, he's not even part of your life. Do you know that people will be idolize their husband? Hey, today uh, I'm not going to church. It is on Sunday. I go for my husband. Oh, yeah. I don't know what they have gone to their lives. If anybody's idolizing anything, never idolize. Don't idolize yourself. Don't idolize your wife. Don't idolize your husband. Don't, don't idolize your children. Don't idolize your job. Don't idolize anything. No, Nothing no, is no, worth no, idolizing. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. If anybody's idolizing anything, one day the devil will rob that thing. And they are, they are idolizing in their own face. Mm. It's the truth, too. That's why never I stop somebody. Let me put it up. I will not idolize anything. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't respect your wife, don't respect your husband. But I'm saying that don't let anything take the place of Christ. Because yes, that is where the trouble starts. Mm. Why are you not in church? I uh, only and myself we went somewhere. Why are you not in church? Only and my baby, baby and myself we are, we are busy. Eh? Da, 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 da. Uh, the day I tell people we all need God at one point or the other. If uh, God, uh, husband or wife this has become a mini God, the day somebody will need God, it will be difficult for them to find out God. May we may may it not be difficult for us to find God in Jesus' name. Amen. May God help us in Jesus' name. And I said it's just a food for thought, not get for mm. us out there and yes. uphold us in the name of Jesus. What are you talking about? Patience, you know we're talking about patience in marriage. We are supposed mm. to discuss we are supposed to discuss um um letting out this but we'll do that next week by the grace of yes. God. I know that this has helped this is how the spirit has led us mm. to talk about it. maybe this is for somebody out there yes. to slot in more patience, patience in their marriage so that it mm. can work. Because you see, let me tell you, mm. if anyone divorce divorces um you're not saying this to bring anybody down or to 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 make anybody feel bad or sad you know things happen and it happens you understand mm. and there's always got a, got a second chance mm. you know it can work but if anybody goes ahead with divorce it affects the children everything. it affects the mental balance mm. it affects everything around especially the children mm. and you say you love your children sometimes for the children's sake mm. you need to make it work mm. because god has so clearly that it is a man and a woman that will bring up children. Mm. A man has his role, a woman has her role in the bringing up of a child. Mm. Now, when a man brings up a child on his own, when we see that child, we know. When a woman, like a man, mm -hmm. man is a woman. When a woman brings up a child on her own, mm. we know because the way the child is behaving. But when there's balance, the man is there, the husband is there, the wife is there, mm. and they're balancing the bringing up. The child will grow up straight. I'm not saying those who are single don't grow up straight. And don't get me wrong, but I'm just talking about it's grace. It's grace. The way that God has created it is to to a family mm. and the children. So may God help us in Jesus' name. And may God uphold us in Jesus' name. So let's do let's let's mm. let's do everything in our power to make sure that we study patience and our marriage stands. If your wife has gone, husband has gone, do everything to bring her back. Do everything to bring him back so that he can be one because the children may the not suffer. They, are, so they may not speak out, but they will be suffering for it. May God help you. We've seen some men, whereby some boys growing up to be men and they hate women because of what their father has said and done and the, the way they behave with women and the way they. We've seen some people who are psycho killers and all that. And because their mother was blonde and they saw how the mother hated the father, they hate blonde women and go out and begin to kill blonde women. Mm -hmm. And we see the other way too. That the other way, whereby uh, the the man has mistreated the woman, and the woman has mistreated the man, and the children grow up with hatred. Mm -hmm. So please, may God help us and uphold us, and just so that the things will work out marvelously and and, and marvelously mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. So two things we have established this this evening. Mm -hmm. One, 
We need to be patient. Patience is very so, good. Patience. There's no room for being violent towards yes, your sir. spouse, no whether really. emotional or physical. Mm. No. It is not tolerated. Mm. Even in Africa now, I think their eyes are open a little by of little. Of course, now they have they have all this um, you know? women and, and supporting women. So and all please, that. two things: patience and don't give your spouse mental torture. Yes, sir. And don't be violent towards your woman or towards your, your man. man. And God will help us in Jesus' name. So God will help us and uphold us. Mm. Let's let's work out our marriages with fear and trembling mm. under the under the grace and mercy of God. Mm. Very, very important. So may God help us and uphold us. Because the Bible says that a man must love his wife. The, the, man, the wife is part of the body of the man. Mm. So if a man begins to beat the wife, the man is beating himself. A woman yes, is, so of course, a woman is beating the husband. You are beating the woman, yourself. You are beating the head and all that. You know, and all these things have repercussion. So make up your mind never to raise your hand it against is. your spouse. Mm. Make up your mind. It's, I know some people grew up in a violent uh, environment. environment whereby their father used to beat their mother mm. and their mother used to beat their father and so forth and so And they are now grown men. And they are seeing the traces. Mm. If you see such a trace in you, mm. cry out to God. Go and meet your pastor for him or her to pray for you and do deliverance from you for you so that you can be delivered so that you'll be a different man because what a child sees when they are growing up it stays is. with them yes, and it's very important that's why you see it's only God that can change only mm. the Holy Ghost that can change so give the Holy Ghost chance to change you and you shall be changed in the name so of Jesus so if you are hot tempered mm -hmm. tell God to deliver you yes, your sir. those hands mm. look at people when it's nothing boom boom mm. and it's, just, it's not just men no Somebody told me years ago in church in the pastor's office, the lady pastor slapped the husband. Mm. Women are slapping their husbands too. It must not be hard mm. as children of God. Whether you are a pastor, you are a, we are all children of the most high God. We must never how can somebody go to the poop without slapping their husband or slapping their wife? And you say you are preaching. What are you preaching? Mm. You are not preaching anything. Mm. You are just that person is just deceiving. And, now. And, and, and guess what? You use that hand to beat your wife. You use that hand to beat your husband. Hey, do you and have they, they now come to church. Lay hands. And use that same hands to lay. My God, now, oh, do you what have type of spirit are you transferring? That is the question. As a man or woman of God, or a servant of God, what type of spirit are you transferring to your church mm. members? When you use that same hand to beat your husband or your wife, and you ask, Holy Ghost, touch, boom, hey. and you lay hands on Even everyone. Even the devil himself will be laughing. Of course, you So that means that you are trying, God forbid, that person is transferring evil spirit to be beating that. If you're a man and that hand is laid on, laid on you, that means that uh, you would wonder, ah, you want to do something and your hand, you're raising your hand. What's happening to me? What's happening to you? Ah, 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 this is not my nature. Why? Well, because of transferring to spirit. That's why you see. We need to be careful. May God help us in the name of Jesus. That's why Paul told mm. Timothy, do not be hasty in the laying on of hands. So may God help us in Jesus' name. Respect. We should respect ourselves. Of course, sir. Wife, respect your husband and husband too. Respect your wife. It is both. We honor ourselves. And God will help us all. Yes, so. No, I'm writing, reading. Two things that I'm laughing at. So main thing is that it's no one's right. A man, it's not mm. your right to beat your husband, mm -hmm. your wife. It's not, your, it's not your right. A woman is not right, right, right to beat your husband. There's no, there's no, nothing that will justify you. I'm telling you. For laying hands on your spouse. Nothing can be justified. So mm. you don't help us in jail. Somebody says. Pastor told me one story. Let me quickly check this in. Yeah, Years ago, you told me one story. It's a true story. Oh. One woman you was. Told me? You told me. One woman was married and then the husband had the habit of beating her. One day, the, uh, the father of the woman. Took nice skin, went to the house and started beating, beating the, the husband. The husband. And there's another one. The but you did not tell me this one. The um the husband slapped the wife, and the mother of the man had. The mother went to the house and started beating her son. I mean yes, her son. Now out there you be somebody else's child. Mm. 
So I just leave. It is not, not, not right. So please. May God help us in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Come on to their transparent slapping spirit. Amen. May God help us in the name of Jesus. That's why you see we want to be very careful in what we do mm. and where we go to. And may mm. God uphold us in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I believe you have been blessed already. As I said yes. before, we do this topic next wow. week. Letting out this thing that we were supposed mm. to do. We'll do it part two next week because mm. of what we have discussed. And I believe you have all been blessed there because yes. we have seen a comment that somebody said they have been blessed and thank God for this topic. Even though it's not a topic, but it's just uh, it's a topic. the topic. Mm. I mean, it's not a planned topic. Talking about, speaking about patience, so thank God. Mm. May God always uphold us and give us more patience in yes, Jesus' name. Just one prayer point that Lord, me mm. as a man, as a husband, me as a wife, or me as a mm. wife to be or husband to be. Give me great patience. Yes, so let me walk in patience. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come into your presence, oh God. Thank you, oh God. We come to let this man be with us in Christ Jesus. We ask for the spirit of patience, of long suffering. Father, help us, oh God. Man, Tagora, Bagadaya, and Moses, and the Lord, and the Lord. All those who are out there, mm. who their marriages are be, uh, in, a, in abusive marriage, mm. touch the spouses, mm. touch both of them because we believe it can work. Mm. There's something that the man saw in the woman, and I want to, I want you to be my wife. Mm. And something the woman saw in the man, said that ah, you are the man I want to marry, I want to live for, with with the rest of my life. And Lord, mm. every marriage that is putting. Let your peace reign here. Let's begin to pray. Father, you are in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, every marriage that is sick out there that is hurting. Let the anointing of God touch every marriage, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we just want to thank you, oh God, because you are the great God, you are the mighty God. Thank you, O God, because you are always patient with us. Yes, so. Thank you, Lord, because we are long suffering. Mm. Thank you, Joel. We say be magnified, O God, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Let this mind be you to us in Christ Jesus. We cry out to you this hour, O God. Lord, we pray, O God, you will touch every heart, you will touch every individual, yes, you will touch every home. King yes. of God, the grace to be patient. We ask for that grace even right now in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. And Lord, anyone that has been abusive towards their spouse, mm. whether emotionally or physically, man, takora, bagadiya. Mantele the boy, Agaraba, such as you go and touch them in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, any man, any man, oh God, that needs help out there, yes, Father, Lord. help, oh God, in the name Amen. of Jesus. And Lord, and Lord, we are in one way or the other, we all, we all need your help. Yes, Father, Lord. help us, oh God. Yes, Lord. Help every individual, oh God. Yes, Lord. And anyone believing God for marriage, we pray the Lord will answer you speedily in, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. The God of heaven will remember you for good. Yes. And I think we shall be well with us, yes. God. And the best not to miss the Lamb's marriage of the feast. May God give it to us in the name of Amen. Jesus. We will all reign with Christ. Amen. We will not miss heaven Amen. because of us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we bless your name. You, Our week is blessed. Yes. Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Once again, thank you very much for joining us. We know you have been blessed. Mm -hmm. All the pastors that joined us, Pastor Chichi, thank you. Pastor Chris, Pastor Mike. thank you. Pastor Mike, thank you. And all everyone, every every woman and man, thank you very much. And all, all our best. secret watchers. All our secret behind the scene watchers, thank you very much also. We appreciate you. You amen. made this program a success. And God will bless you. And we pray that every marriage will stand in Jesus' mm -hmm. name. And those believing God for to get married, your right, your right partner, spouse will come in the name of Jesus. And God will make it way. And those mm. marriages that, as Father well prayed, that are experiencing friction, mm. we pray that the peace of God will reign. Please be patient. Mm. So many times, so patience is the key. Mm. Patience is the key. So be patient and God will bless you. Yes, be patient. And in case you are going through domestic violence, mm. domestic speak, abuse, speak out, please, I will beg you, speak out mm. and God will lead you to the right place in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. We'll see you next week with the actual topic by the grace of God. And God will bless and increase and prosper you. Thanks once again for your support. You are blessed and highly favored. Thank you. Bless you. God bless you. Bye bye. Bye. -bye.